Hey folks, welcome to Stive, the Shock the Insanity video experience. Yes, there's a couple red patches on my face. I did cut myself shaving this morning. It's not an issue with your monitor. I know this video is a little late in getting out this week. Truth is, I planned a big, huge unboxing video. I got a gift certificate to a place I occasionally order entertainment from. Movies, books, and that. Timed it with a sale and a special offer for an additional fee if you're willing to take random choices, whatever it is the Packers pick from the Overstock. You'll get more than what the Overstock, than what you paid. And the idea for the video was to show what can happen if you're willing to be smart time everything, gather up your gift certificates, even take a chance on a random grab bag, made up like a bandit, went to watch the playback just to make sure the audio and everything was acceptable because Bit was rubbing up against the laptop again, and discovered that I totally forgot to mark out all of the information on the shipping label. So until I figure out YouTube's little blur censorship tool, that's going to have to sit on that hard drive for a little bit. Yeah, folks, if you're going to do an unboxing video, black marker can come in handy. That being said, though, to start a couple things I want to talk about, to start this off, I do want to follow up on something. Early, previous video, I was talking about sales tax. I noted that the previous receipt these items with the A on it are the store code for items that had sales tax charged, which was pretty much everything on the list since it was gifts and other things. Well, I had to go back to Walgreens today. Lost track of the expiration dates on everything. Most of the stuff in the first aid kit I keep in my car expired, so I basically had to start from scratch. Go down here to some of the actual first aid stuff I bought. And you'll see no letter A. So those are examples of things that are considered essential or critical, and as such, no sales tax. As long as I got the receipt up, I want to point to the above. Now, why did I buy a whole slew of candy bars all at once? Well, we go down here and note the four manufacturer's coupons. I may not have the unboxing video, but I do have that receipt to show what you can do. The coupons I had, a dollar off on two of a particular variety of candy bar. Walgreens had that bar on sale for 59 cents a pop. And you can kind of see eight at 59. Now, dollar off on two translates into 50 cents off on one. 59 cents on sale minus 50 cents. Eight candy bars for nine cents each. And oh, by the way, this is Walgreens. Walgreens gives rewards points for rewards club members. They had another special going. Spend a minimum of $10, get five times the bonus points for purchases, and as you can see from looking at the receipt, the first aid stuff I got put me over that before I even touched anything else. So, candy bars, nine cents each, but five times the points on the original 59 cents each. Between the five times the points on that and everything else, Basically, folks, if I wanted to, I could go there one day, cash in, $20 gift certificate. The printer I've got hooked up to my laptop, free. I saved up for a $30 gift certificate at Walgreens at one point. You went, cash in, free printer. Like I've been saying, folks, that's what you can do if you're smart with your money. You look at your coupons, you look at your sales. You time everything right, and if there are rewards cards for the stores you shop at a lot, 
get those, especially if there's no fee for membership. Just let your points roll. One more thing before I go, there's going to be a link in the description. It was A video was recently brought to my attention. It's a 20-minute bit in which individuals who defected from North Korea are given a chance to sample American-style barbecue for the first time. Not only is it food that has been cooked American-style, it's also a variety of American-style sauces, including, by the by, Rudy's brand sauces as a representative of Texas. Those of you who live down here know there's a Rudy's over clean Harker Heights, that area, so woot. Now, the video may be a little hard to watch in some places because the individuals are pretty candid. They're talking about some of the privations they experienced living in North Korea at the low end of the totem pole. One person, for example, talks about the fact that just to get enough meat for one meal, you would basically have to sell enough rice to feed a family for a week. That is how scarce meat is. And so we're talking about some of the things they have to do in order to just get food. And basically, if you're not a leader or some high up official, you don't get meat unless you do things that by Western standards are pretty nasty or one of your cows goes down. In fact, another person was talking about how North Korea, it's pretty much they will execute you if you are eating beef without permission and you are too low a class. So, I'm just going to link to that video. It's rather educational. They do talk about American, the hosts are talking about American style barbecue and sauces in order to explain things to the individuals. The individuals are talking about their experiences under North Korean rule, the culture shock of coming to the West and how things are different. And specifically in this case, how it relates to there even being food. One of the people they were talking to was talking about how first time she was in South Korea, she asked for a carryout container because she didn't finish her meal. Some of the people were basically thinking she was a hick because she did that, but she came from a place where there was barely enough to eat. And she couldn't see, she couldn't stand seeing any of it wasted. So folks, just tossing that one out. As a reminder, be grateful for what you have. So folks, catch you all later.